Hey YouTube, welcome back to Part Time Fab. So today we are going to take a look at the Rage 2 and the new Evolution Saw 380. So um, let's get into this. All right, so let's get into this. I, I've took a look at this saw compared to this saw. I've not actually made any cuts just yet with this one. Uh, I didn't want the workbench getting um, the little chips and everything on it uh, just yet. We will be making some chips soon though. But um, just took a look at this saw, compared it to this saw, made a few notes, and uh, that's what I wanted to bring to you today. So straight off, the first thing that I see about these two units is the handles. So as you can see, this one is more of a horizontal saw, uh, a handle, and you, you squeeze it. Makes sense to me. Put, um, I don't want to say more pressure, but compared to this uh, vertical handle where you're going down like that, this handle seems more ergonomic and um, probably has a better action on it. Uh, the next thing I wanted to point out is over here on the other side. The older unit has the chain that uh, holds it down. You know, that's, that's your locking mechanism. And the new unit has this um, pin style. So you just take a little pressure off of it, pull it out turn it. It's got some detents there that just let it raise up. You can actually go ahead and put it back in and as you lower it, it will lock in. Really only takes one hand to do that. This one for sure takes two hands to lock and it takes, you know, a little bit longer to, to lock that in place. All right, the next is what I think is the best feature because what's the one thing on this that you use every single time? It is the clamp. So this unit, you have to just crank and crank and crank and crank until you get it tight. This unit has a speed release. Just the top flips and it's got threads in it um, so you can you can put a piece of stock in here slide it up slide that forward and then you'll give it a little spin and it's locked i really like that great addition over the old unit okay the next feature is this base this base is made out of cast aluminum this base is made out of steel, uh, looks like stamp, stamp steel. I mean, it is still a good unit. And I got a magnet here. You can see that the magnet does hold on that. So that is, that's steel. This one does not stick. However, over here is an insert that is steel. Now, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why that is. It does look like uh, a machine surface right here, and it does have some threads in it for, for this, um, I don't even know what you call this. It's where your, uh, your angle adjustment plate uh, to screw in. So steel threads, probably a little better, although the uh, angle adjustment here is into the aluminum. So that would be some threads that may not be as strong. I've adjusted that down, it's pretty tight, I can't move it. So um, the next feature that I thought was really awesome, because these things do throw a lot of chips around, this one doesn't have one at all. When you make chips, they go straight out the bottom and wherever they go is where they go. This unit, however, 
has actually two ways to help the chip situation. Right here appears to be a panel that you can take four screws at to put some type of vacuum collection. And then right here, there's a removable chip tray. I hope you can see that. I'll get you close-ups anyway. So, and it's a good sized removable chip tray. I really, really like this. Uh, my DeWalt, it does not have a removable chip tray, but it does have a chip tray. Uh, it's just really hard to get the chips out. I don't know why they didn't make that removable. It's kind of crazy, but this one, removable. Very awesome feature. Locks in place so it can't come out. Also, let's see. Next thing. Something that 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 really kind of caught me by surprise. Let me turn these on. And put on some safety glasses. Was the motors. Now I, I hope you can hear the difference because in person there is a big difference between the sound of the motors. Is it better? I don't know. This is a 15 amp, and I do believe this is a 15 amp. Yeah, 15 amp. So same amperage, same power, same RPM, but they're different technology. So let's, let's listen. Okay, there's the one. Now listen to this one. They are a little bit different on the, uh, the motor. I'm not sure what the makeup is. They are the same power, but they do have a bit different uh, sound to them. Um, I don't know, maybe this one's a little more torquey. Maybe it's just different technology. Get those turned off. Do not want to be slinging these around with them turned on. So like I pointed out the other day, uh, this one, comes with an Allen key. Which I do have right here. But to the best of my knowledge, unless you want to put it right there, there's nowhere to put it. So you keep it in a drawer. This one on the other hand has this little handy dandy Allen key holder right there. So that's really neat. If, if that's a big selling point for you to keep everything together. Um, I like that because for the longest time I forgot what this went to. And then uh, one day I needed to replace the blade and I remembered what it was for. Now, I guess um, the last thing that I want to talk about this saw over this saw, and I'll try to get you close-ups of this. are the actual clamps themselves. Uh, they are both made of steel. I mean, this one is thin, thin stock, but you can see that it's, it's definitely steel. This one, the, the back fence is, um, it's steel, but it's eighth inch. Uh, it, does, it does flex a little bit when I've used it in the past it does flex a little bit. And, and like I said, I think it's, it's, eight, it's eighth inch. This one on the other hand is beefy. It's, um, it doesn't look quarter of an inch, it looks thicker, but it's not quite half inch. So here's a, here's a half inch wrench, a little bit of play in there. This is a three eighths and it doesn't quite fit. 
So it's larger than 3 8 but not quite half. So it's thick and it's cast steel because the magnet sticks to it. I thought it was uh, cast aluminum there for a minute. And then on the back side, it does have uh, two ribs to four, four extra strength. Um, well, actually, it's got three. It's got a real small one right down here at the bottom. So, uh, and, and the front plate, the front plate here is also thicker where this one, um, this one's eighth inch. Uh, this one, it's three eighths. So the three eighths wrench just fits on that right there. So, but still it is cast, but pretty thick compared to this one. And this uh, back fence, very thick compared to this one. Plus it's got the, uh, the, the three ribs, two large, two full, full length uh, or height ribs, and then a real small one right here in the center. But, um, and then you got the, uh, the adjustment here where you could take this, stick in here, and you could just loosen a little bit and then adjust your, your angle. And I think that covers all of my, my big items. Um, this unit seems well worth the money to me so far. Uh, all the added features seem really nice. Over this unit, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I've used this unit for about a year now. Um, I don't know how many blades I've gone through. Um, not too many. Blades have been real good. But most of the stock I deal with is real small. Uh, I do, I have cut uh, five inch uh, square tubing with this unit, but only a handful of times, two, three, four times. I just don't have a big call for that. Uh, most of everything I cut is inch and a half square or, um, you know, like uh, tubing for a chassis, something like that. So it's going to be thin wall, inch and five eighths or something like that or smaller. But um, been a good saw. But there are definitely some improvements, uh, great improvements over here with this unit. And uh, I hope to, I'll be using this real soon. And that's my next video is uh, cutting a few things with this. Evolution was, was nice enough to uh, send a box of uh, some items to cut. So there's some square. There's actually, actually some wood with nails pre-inserted. There's some thread all. I've got some round in here. Some square bar. Looks like um, some wood composite material. Got all kinds of things to cut in there, but we're, we'll probably find some more stuff around here, some bigger stuff to cut. But... Um, you know, one thing I didn't mention was, was this holder again. This does slide over top of that uh, fence to uh, hold a piece of round or square. It will hold the square sideways up on its edge. Both units did come with that. Um, they are very similar. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger because that fence is a little bit bigger. But um, not a lot of difference there. That is a good add-on though. But um, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If one of those, if you're looking for one of these, I really like the upgraded features on this one. Um, the base seems really sturdy. Um, one thing I haven't looked at is does it have bolts from the bottom? Because soon I'm going to be making a stand for this. And uh, I would like to put some bolts in it. I'm not seeing any. Maybe there's some on the underside, but uh, we'll get into that later. But um, if this unit looks like something you'd like to, uh, to have, I'm going to put a link down in the show notes in the description if you want to go take a look at this off of Amazon. 
Anything you do purchase off Amazon through my affiliate links does help the shop out a little bit. I've not made a whole lot of money off of that, but uh, every little bit does help uh, and, and greatly appreciated. But uh, with that, we're going to call this video done. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post videos because I am trying to post some more videos. I'll be doing that real soon. But uh, hope you liked the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. We'll see you next time.